Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to use Double Exposure Luma Key tool to key out white background from your video footage. And this uh, Luma Key tool is included with Double Exposure Generator for After Effects. It is included as a preset. So first you will need to save the preset file into your After Effects presets folder. And I have already done this. So now I can go to my video composition here. And when this video layer is uh, selected, this uh, sample video with a, uh, a man over a white background, I can now go to Effects and Presets panel. And under Animation Presets, I will find this uh, DE Luma Key preset. And when I double click on it, it will be added to the video layer. So first I will close these last three controls. And uh, all the controls you can access on Effect Controls panel. And if it's not open for you, then you can go to Window menu here and open it from here. So the first thing to do with your video is to view it in different color channels. You can do it from here using this button, red, green, blue, or you can also use a shortcut. When you hold down Alt and then press 1, 2 and 3, you can see by the colored line which color channel you are viewing. So what we are looking here for is which color channel has most contrast between the foreground and the background. And for this video clip, I can tell it's a blue channel. It's the blue channel. So now I will go to the controls here and under the key it control, I will change this channel selection to blue channel. And now I will start to key out white background and to do that I will move this Luma Maximum slider. So to key out white or lighter colors there is Luma Maximum slider and to key out black or dark colors there is Luma Minimum slider. So Luma Minimum for black, Luma Maximum for white. And I will start to drag this slider to the left and you can see the background disappeared already. I will turn on the background color here so I can better see what details are left. And here is a white spot so I know that I will need to, I need to move this uh, slider more to the left. Like this. So in case your video has a lot of fine details in the edges of the foreground object, like mine here, for example, hair or uh, motion blur or uh, uh, other feathered elements, um, then I can turn on this last control, refine soft matte effect. And I will open this also. And now you can change all these uh, values here. I will first change this additional edge radius value to uh, 6 and then I can also change the smooth to 2.4 and feather to 3.3 so I have previously tried this out and it's totally depending on your video footage what values are good to use here you can change all these also turn on chatter reduction and change the value for this also. Uh, but in case your foreground object has really simple edges, then you don't have to turn this on at all, because using this will also make render time longer. But in this case, it will make the key much better. So I will use this. And uh, we have keyed out our white background. Uh, so this is how you use Double Exposure Luma Key as a preset. And in case you have any questions regarding this, just let us know in the comments below the video or send us an email. And please also subscribe in uh, case you want to know when we add more videos to this channel. Thank you guys. Bye.